top five free After Effects tools of 2019 of all, all time. time. 2019 is over and I wanted to reflect on some generous free tools that really helped me out this year. These are the tools that I use on a daily basis. So while there are many incredible tools out there that you might be expecting to see on this list, they are not included because I rarely use them. And here's a hot tip. Scripts and plugins should only help you work faster and smarter. They should not be a crutch that you depend on. There's going to be exceptions to what I'm saying, of course, but generally you shouldn't use plugins just because it does something that you don't know how to do. You should be using them because they are going to greatly enhance your workflow and help you do things that you already do much faster. Now that I'm done preaching, let's get on with the list. Number five, trim pack. If you're like me and you do a lot of lines in your daily work, trim pack is a huge time saver. It has a nice simple interface and makes applying trim paths into a one click affair. There are a ton of different presets, including in, out, in and out, in and out four times, switch directions, add horizontal lines, add vertical lines, you name it. You can even customize the settings and add your own default values. Say goodbye to the barbaric ways of twirling open the trim paths menu to add trim paths. No more. Number four, Ease Copy. Ease Copy lets you copy and paste your eases without overwriting your values and vice versa. For example, I can copy the ease of this middle smiley and paste just the ease on the bottom smiley. So now we have the same ease, but they're in different positions. Or I could use it and paste just the value on a different smiley. This is really just the beginning, but you can kind of imagine how useful this could be. And if you can't, then watch the full trailer because I don't have time to explain it anymore because we're moving on. Number three, sortie. Sortie is an amazing tool that helps you organize your layers in the timeline based on a multitude of different criteria. For example, you could organize all your layers based on a set position. Here we have all of our layers randomly organized, but I'm going to choose to organize them based on their opacity, or we could choose to organize them relative to this center point or we could choose to organize them relative to this first layer in the corner. There are a multitude of different properties you can choose to use from, and if we combine it with the next script on our list, we can have even more amazing results. If you shift layers by right-clicking and use sequence layers, then I believe you are a masochist and enjoy pain. Shift Layers is a script that has beauty in its simplicity, and it's by far one of my most used scripts, and I absolutely cherish its clean and simple interface. It's just a nice and simple script that allows you to shift and stagger layers in the timeline. Enough said. Fake Out, it's a tie for number two. Can I do that? Of course I can do that. I created the video. I can do whatever I want. Rift is like a much more powerful shift layers with a much more deeper interface and a lot more features. There's more you can do with it and it also has a beloved place in my arsenal. The reason it's tied for number two with shift layers is because I use them both interchangeably. Even though Rift can do everything that shift layers can do and more, it's nice to have both options, and I prefer the simplicity of ship layers, and I find myself keeping that open until I need the more advanced keyframe shifting, and then I open up the big guns. Rift. Did you really think I was going to go the whole list without a video co-pilot tool? No way, Jose. FX Console is one of the greatest efficiency tools ever created for After Effects. It helps you search and apply effects faster. You can create favorites and aliases. For example, I always search desaturate instead of hue saturation, so I can tag that. You can use it to export screenshots and save images to your clipboard. There's even a little gallery inside of it. 
it's such a simple plugin, but there's so much depth to it and it's hard for me to do it justice in this short video. So I highly recommend that you check out Video Copilot's great promo video. These tools are free, but if they do end up helping you a lot and you really love them like I do, consider throwing the creators a few bucks for being nice, selfless, kind people. Unlike me, who is a complete sellout and has two premium Skillshare classes out, link in bio. So what tools helped you the most this year? What did you think of this list? Were you already familiar with these? Anything new and exciting you want to check out? Anything you'd like to add? Anything I'm an idiot for missing? Let me know in the comments. Happy New Year and Happy New Decade, everybody.